Setting up your Hubble small device is easy. Follow these steps to start using Hubble. Firstly, open the box. Inside, you'll find a Hubble device, a Hubble remote with batteries already inserted, a 4K compatible HDMI cable and a power cable. Next, plug your Hubble device in. Plug one end of the provided HDMI cable into Hubble and the other end into your TV's HDMI port. Plug the power cable into Hubble and connect it to a power supply. If you have an existing free-to-air connection, you can connect the aerial cable to Hubble to receive live TV channels. Get your remote control ready. Carefully remove the paper tab from the remote. If the paper tears, slide the back of the remote downwards to remove the cover and dislodge any remaining paper from within the remote. Now turn the power on and on the TV screen, make sure you select the correct HDMI input that is connected to your Hubble device. Follow the on-screen prompts to set up and register your device. Firstly, you'll need to connect to the internet. Select which type of connection you're using. Wi-Fi is the most common. Select your Wi-Fi network from the list and enter your Wi-Fi password using the navigation pad on the remote. Once you've successfully connected to the internet, your device may need to install the latest software to ensure you're getting the best experience. This can take up to 15 minutes to complete. Next step is to pair your Hubble remote control using Bluetooth. Follow the prompts on screen to pair your remote control. You'll have the option to set up your remote control to be able to control your TV's volume and standby functions, as well as the volume of any speaker systems you have connected. Follow the prompts on screen so that Hubble can try and pair with your model of TV and speaker. Next, link your device to your Hubble account. If you bought your Hubble device from Hubble's online store, then your device will be pre-linked. Select This Is Me if the name on screen is correct. If you'd like to register the device under a different account, select This Isn't Me and follow the prompts to link to another account. To verify the account, enter your PIN number. By default, your PIN number will be the last four digits of the mobile number attached to your Hubble account. On Hubble, you can purchase and view pay-per-view events directly from the device. From this screen, you can manage whether those purchases require a PIN. If you are connected to an aerial, this is where you can scan for your free-to-air channels. You can also skip this step and stream those channels via the internet instead. Set Hubble's location to identify when casting music or videos. Confirm the postcode is correct so that you receive the correct free-to-air channels for your area. Lastly, you can choose to sign in to the individual free-to-air apps. And you're done. Now you're ready to explore Hubble. You can start signing into apps. You won't need to sign into KO Sports, Binge, Flash or Lifestyle because they share the same login details as your Hubble subscription and will automatically be available to access on the device. For all other apps, if you already have an existing subscription, you can log in using your existing login details or sign up to a new subscription if you don't currently have one. For more information, go to hubble.com.au slash Hubble Setup. <laughs>